So what I'm doing, let me uh, let me show you. Let me take you over closer here. <laughs> trying to get Deb took over with the mower she wanted to steal some of my grass clippings so she's like I'll mow if I can have the grass clippings so she's building I don't know if you can see over on the other side there she's got a doing like a little raised bed and she just put cardboard down she's like can you put some bags of clippings over here so anyhow so what I'm doing let me uh, let me show you let me take you over closer here so you might have seen the video last year of the uh, this bed here we call it like the hugel culture bed but basically all of our raised beds are hugel culture <laughs> type of beds because we always fill them in with you know rotted uh, branches and limbs and all kinds of things uh, anything that will decompose uh, eventually just to kind of build up the bottom part and well this one I just did that and then I started piling on grass clippings and planted sun gold tomatoes down the middle of it and I tell you what, well, you know, so here was the intention. I was gonna, plant, you know, plant them in what was just basically, like you see piles of grass chopped up. Um, I was gonna stick them in there and then come and bring some soil, you know, around and, and kind of pot up around the edges and then continue to fill them in. Well, I got busy and they started growing in that grass and I just kind of didn't add any soil whatsoever. So this, this bed you see here has no soil in it well there may be some soil kind of forming down underneath now and and from last year's grass clippings but um but we added no soil and this the bed here was the absolute best tomatoes we had growing on the whole property anywhere if any of the beds are out in the garden uh and so i was just doing some research just a little bit ago and it turns out that the grass clippings um, pH balance of that is just perfect for tomatoes. So I thought, well, maybe that has a little bit to do with it. And But the moisture that stays there, I, I think I watered them like the first day or two last year. You know, the first day or two that I put them in, like a few days maybe. Um, and then I just kind of, man, it's kind of a pain to drag the hose all the way out here to, to water. So I just kind of would come out here and feel the ground and and if it felt uh, moist, then I wouldn't water it. And them grass clippings held that moisture just enough to where I literally didn't have to water it the rest of the year. And so you might be surprised, but I'm gonna do the same thing this year. <laughs> I'm gonna put them sun gold tomatoes back out here. And uh, I'm, you can see I'm kind of piling it high in the middle. That's because I'm hoping to continue to add grass clippings around the edge, just because it does settle. Uh, we had to, uh, add quite a few yet this spring to get it kind of built back up and uh, but I'm excited about it and hopefully you'll follow along and check for updates um, with these uh, videos throughout the summer see how this does and uh, you can see I did cattle cattle panel uh, trellis here and I actually need to do do it all the way down because I just used what I had um, but anyhow I'll probably do that this time and trellis them up good that worked out really good so let me go get the tomatoes and uh, I'll show you how I do this
good. I'm back. I got... Did she, did she stay busy? I'm trying to keep an eye on her, make sure she stays busy, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. She is the hardest working girl you ever want to see. She's so busy doing all kinds of stuff. But anyhow, she's over there working. Hopefully you can hear over the mower. We're just, you know, we're busy and I apologize for the Mustangs that drive by and <laughs> all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, we got some noise around here, but hopefully you can hear good enough to, it's enjoyable to watch. Um, if it's not, if you need me to put on a microphone and do all that, just make a comment. You know, I'll, I'll try to do the extra steps if I need to, but because we've got the microphone, it's just extra work. But um, so anyhow, I got these sun golds. I, I've grown these from seed. I got the, uh, the sun gold. I uh, got the seeds from house tools, and I got these grown out, and they're looking pretty good. Uh, but they're ready to be uh, planted. So I just want to show you kind of what I'm doing over here. Um, I haven't even, I just kind of got it piled up here. Let's take a look what we got. Let me go ahead, I'm just gonna kind of knock the, make an even row down through there. I'm gonna leave it high in the middle. Now, let me tell you, you already know this probably, but with tomatoes, you can plant them all the way down to, I usually plant them down to the last little burst of growth. So like all of this stuff here, I'll bury that all the way down. A lot of people will take and break that off and, and do that, but you don't even need to. I just plant it all the way down to the bottom and then bury the rest and then it decomposes. So let me show you that. Now the ones that I will break off, can you see? Okay. The ones that I will break off is the ones that's right up. In fact, let me show you closer. So these here that are actually touching the ground or those grass clippings, I will break those off. Um, I'm, I think we're good here. So we'll leave all the rest of that. Uh, break that one off over here, you can see. Break those off and just lay them there. Now this one here, I will probably I need a little bit of something for solar panels so after it gets growing after this shoot in the middle gets growing good I will I will prune those bottom branches off ah, nice <laughs> <laughs> it's hot and I'm out of breath for yeah. mowing but it's looking better oh yeah so um and did you get you some grass clippings over there i did i got me a bag getting ready to empty another bag sounds good so i'm over here planting these sun goals and i just told him i was gonna let him watch me plant all those and then i forgot to hit the record button but anyhow so <laughs> just take my word for it i planted those yep. i planted 10 of them and uh, i think i'm pretty sure you saw the first one but uh, anyhow i planted 10 of them down the down the middle there and i got them mounted up so that i can add uh, grass clippings throughout the summer along the side and it'll keep uh, keep building up uh, some good soil in there huh absolutely tell, tell the we are going to have so many sun goals tell the people uh, how this thing did last year we had an abundance we I mean we ate on this thing all year long because um, it's an indeterminate and the chickens ate on it all year long and they love those things. oh they love the sun goals. oh my gosh you should hear them it's too funny maybe you should show them when they start coming on what the chickens do when they get them. Yeah. If they haven't seen it already, one right. of the past videos. Yeah. But it's just too cute. I love my chickens. Yeah. And my honey just got me a bouquet of four silver lace Polish yesterday for Mother's Day. Yeah, and tomorrow's Mother's Day, so. Yeah. Do I get another four silver lace? You can get one, two, three, four. Four days of Mother's Day. So <laughs> yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then Monday, bonus day. Oh, so. sweet. <laughs> It's like when it's her birthday it's like it's not just her birthday it's her birth month yeah. i mean i think it's like you spoil me <laughs> <laughs> i try she deserves it Aww. so but anyhow so we're uh, gonna close up this video here and um 
just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us and if you have any questions about this uh leave them in the comments i'd love to answer your question if i know another question uh, it would be something good for me to do an experiment on because i love doing experiments we you know if you watch my channel you know i'm always trying stuff different uh things. different ways because just because one person said it had to be that way your strawberries are going crazy in these blueberries oh yeah they're so, like leafing out they're doing good you have to come back and watch updates for the those blueberry uh bushes that i did the other day and the strawberries and in fact i'm going to plant the rest of the strawberries in this bed that's right behind you actually right over there <laughs> so uh, hopefully you saw the blueberry can i save the blueberry plant video oh, maybe what blueberry 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 plants check out this blue 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 blue, 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 right. blue, blue, blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, i love it so but anyhow thanks for hanging out with us Yep. Make sure you get out there and get your thumbs brown or green. I I've mean, been I mowing. Suppose. Mine's green. Yeah. Mine are... You're mine are wiped off. My, my wrist is more brown and dirty than anything from yeah. the sweat picking up the grass cuts. You yeah. can get out there, grow something, propagate something, plant some seeds, grow a garden, grow something in a pot, whatever you got to do. But just uh, enjoy nature. Get out there. Try to grow something. Grow something more healthy than, the, than what they sell you at the at the grocery store absolutely yeah and it tastes better too it's more satisfying yep so anyhow and thanks. better for you that's that's right i'm gonna go grow me some a glass of iced tea I'm gonna grow you a with glass of iced stevia. tea uh-huh with my stevia i've been pretty much down to water with lemon juice mixed in right now yeah you have so trying to get rid of these kidney stones and hoping that that will help <laughs> anyhow so all right so thanks for hanging out with us y'all be blessed and we'll catch you on the south side bye y'all god bless